Hello guys, so in this video we're going to go through uh, the features of this order flow profile. Um, they're actually pretty simple, uh, yet you can find an interesting strategy using this profile. So basically, first of all, I mean probably all of you know what a volume profile is, so these bars here is just how many, what the volume was for every single um, price level that the profile shows, okay? And then we can see the POC, value area high, and value area low. We're able to select how many percentages are we interested in when we talk about the value area. So we can include 70% or less or more. And we can also control the granularity of the profile, uh, which means that currently it's looking at ticks on every single tick level. So for example here, so how many ticks occurred on this level, how many ticks occurred on this level, this level, this level, etc. Okay, and we can also have a look and combine those levels into more ticks. So 2, 3, 5, 10, how many we want. Okay, now there's a bunch of visual settings. I'm not going to go through these. As for some of the settings that we see here, okay, like for example, this volume bar here is colored uh, as buying pressure and this is colored as selling pressure. Uh, basically, what we do, and we do this to calculate this delta here as well, okay. Uh, what we do is we look at every single tick. So, for example, let's consider that I don't know, there's a few ticks here. Let's just make them gray. Let's see, let's consider we have a tick here. I might have a tick here. I can have a tick here. I don't know. Let's have a tick. I don't know here. Okay. So um, now we can also have our dome. So we're gonna have the bid. And the ask, so the ask, and the bid here. Okay. So presumably, when we buy, we buy the ask. When we sell, we sell the bid. Okay. So what we do in the algorithm is we look at this price. Okay. And we we'll look whether this price actually equals best bid or less, or best ask or less. Okay. So if it is equal to best bid or less considered to be selling pressure okay uh, on the other hand if it's equal to best ask for more it's considered to be a buying pressure tick so we kind of sort these ticks into two different lists so these are ticks that are considered buying pressure these are considered to be selling pressure actually ninja has this too in their volumetric bars and if you have a look, you see delta type, bid ask, and they also have an up-down tick. So bid ask is actually what I'm talking about right now. Up-down tick would be if this tick is lower than the previous tick. That's the two main algorithms that people use to kind of work around this buying selling pressure. Um, not much more that we got. So anyway, um, so after we've collected them into buying and selling, you know, um, lists, we calculate the total volume here and total volume here. And the difference between them is this delta here. Whereas this number here is actually the total volume. And 2% is basically how many percent is the delta in respect to the total volume. Okay. So, um, and if we come back to this bar here or this bar here, we do the same inside every single volume bar, okay? And the setting here, which is sell imbalance and buy imbalance, allows us to actually say, okay, if my buying pressure volume is 300% more, okay, than my selling pressure volume, then I would like to color this bar, whatever color you set, okay, in this color dark slate gray okay now last but not least 
is the API. So you got POC exposed, you got value area high exposed, and you got very value area low exposed. So you can use that inside any strategies. The profile works on tick. So as soon as the bar starts forming, you get this value uh, exposed, okay? Um, final feature, I think, is basically value area box mode. You can always draw it or you can draw it if the volume, based on the volume of the previous bar uh, with respect in respect to the current bar. So if the current bar volume is higher, you can draw or lower, you can draw or you can just always draw. Okay, guys, so that was about all for the features of this profile. Ah, final thing, when you run it, make sure you click tick replay because it requires tick replay because it's using ticks on the back end. Okay, thank you.